Okay, I'm going to show you how to retarget motion capture data onto your own avatar. In this case, I'm using um, motion capture data from Move AI, but you can use um, Mixamo or Rococo or whichever other online libraries you can find uh, motion capture animation data. I'm going to be using the Ready Player Me avatar as well. So I'm going to be retargeting this animation onto this character. Okay. <clears throat> to get started, you want to go to start with your motion capture data, right click on hips, and then go to rigging tabs, character definition, and click open manager. You want to go to extract skeleton and then set reference pose. This is the pose that it will be looking for when it comes to retargeting. Next, let's. Uh, show the Ready Player Me character, um, go to hips again, same thing, character definition, open manager, extract skeleton, and again it's done automatically, so we've been lucky this time. If you do come to it then you might find yourself, you might need to actually go here and drag drag each one in here if, if they're named differently, so that could take time, but um, sometimes you only have to do it once and then save the uh, um, save it as a preset if you just change the names on strings to include. So that could save you time if you're doing the same thing uh, with the same avatar a lot of times. So just so you know. Right. Another thing we need to make sure of is that all these bones here are matching as close as possible. So if I just color this one a different color so you can see it. If we just change that to a, like a red, so if you can get the um, if you can get these matching as close as possible, they both need to be in the same pose as well. Some characters will come in in an A pose like this, maybe the arms forward, like a meta human and Unreal Engine characters come in more like this. Um, so you'd either need to adjust the first frame of your motion capture data to match that, or in this case, I've just matched the um, avatar's pose to match the animation data. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it's not perfectly on. It's never going to be perfect because it's finding a compromise between um, stretching the actual character's uh, mesh and actually having it the animation working properly. As in, there's no foot sliding or um, everything works as it's supposed to in proportion. Right. Okay. With that part done, go to your target avatar and then click Create Solver. Um, now all you have to do is drag in the source character um, character definition tag there and if we're lucky we have the uh, motion capture data playing there. You can see it better if you switch off the joints. There you go. Um, to export from Cinema 4D it's pretty straightforward. Just go to or just middle click on your avatar. That will select everything underneath and then just go to export as FBX and you're done. Make sure animation is, is uh, checked and yeah, check.